700 couples getting married at the same time. That's what you can call truly a mass celebration. We want more people to live here. We want life to blossom and for everyone to live in peace. Such a large-scale wedding is an unusual event for any place, but especially for Nagorno-Karabakh, a land with a grim past and an uncertain future. As the presidents of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia meet in Moscow to find a peaceful solution to the Nagorno-Karabakh dispute, the main question is how effective will the talks be? Alexander Karavayev from the Center for CIS Studies at Moscow State University doesn't expect much from these talks. But he does say they could serve as a base for future steps towards resolving it. We shouldn't expect any breakthroughs, but perhaps this new format of talks could help Armenia and Azerbaijan create a new base for further negotiations. So far, attempts to resolve the Nagorno-Karabakh dispute have been mediated by the Minsk group of the OSCE. The 12-member group is co-chaired by the United States, Russia and France. The idea of a separate three-way meeting between the two states and Russia was proposed by President Dmitry Medvedev during his recent visit to Armenia. France and the United States are not regional players in this dispute and can only monitor from the outside, and Russia is. The new format doesn't replace the Minsk group and Washington has already said it's not against this idea. Nagorno-Karabakh is mostly populated by Armenians and used to be part of the Soviet Republic of Azerbaijan in the USSR. With the breakup of the Soviet Union, Armenians supported Nagorno-Karabakh's strive towards sovereignty. In 1991, the region unilaterally declared independence, which resulted in several years of violence and tens of thousands of refugees fleeing the area. Armenia remains committed to the region's independence, while Azerbaijan says its territorial integrity must be respected. The dispute over Nagorno-Karabakh has been going on for more than 17 years and hasn't shown any sign of ending. Perhaps the new three-way format to the negotiations may not help find a quick solution, but it could hold the key to some progress. Igor Peskunov, RT, Moscow.